Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Ascended. As always, I'm Captain Beefy. This is the Game Vault, and we're going to do another solo artifact run tonight. This time, for that purple one back there, that's the Artifact of the Devourer. So, let's cue up the music, and we'll get right to it. Alright, so we've got a long flight ahead of us. We're headed all the way to Carno Island. That's where this is located, that cave. It's not an easy cave, but it's definitely... Um, <clears throat> in some ways, it's very easy because it's a very straightforward cave. It's basically a big hole in the ground, and you just kind of wind your way around it to get to the bottom where the artifact's are located. It's full of all the usual suspects. Um, you know, onic, uh, spiders, scorpions, uh, dung beetles... And Megalania as well. Those are the ones that kind of look like a, almost like a Komodo dragon or something like that. Sometimes they stick to the ceilings, uh, you know, and the walls, stuff like that. So they can be a little, they can surprise you. So you want to keep your eyes open for those guys. Um, but yeah, so I recommend bringing medical brews with you in case you get um, a little bit of mega rabies. Also bring with you the uh, lesser antidote if you can make that. If you can't make it, make a lot of medical brews. Uh, those are pretty easy to make so we'll catch up when we get there i'll show you the coordinates and how to get in there and then we'll we'll, we'll go for it all right so we're here on carno island one of the more dangerous places on the map uh, of course it's full of carnos carnivore island or dead island as they call it it's full of carnos rexes um the occasional trilobite raptors saber tooth scorpions yeah you name it bad stuff everywhere a bunch of rgs over there I hear stuff coming up behind me. So, yeah. You can also find Alphas here, so you want to make sure when you're headed to the actual cave that you got a way to get there safely. And for me, it's a Thylan. I'm going to bring a Thylan inside the cave as well. Now, I am using a mod for this map um, that gives us the old school cryopods, so we can launch cryopods in the cave. Um, you know, if you can't do that, then I recommend maybe bringing, uh, I think a Baryonyx will fit into this cave. Maybe a really good um, saber tooth with uh, an excellent saddle, you know, something like that. That'll get you in there. But we're going to have to clear things out a little bit here before we even show you the uh, coordinates. So well, let's just continue on. Right, is that it? Nope, there's one more. Let's get him knocked out. Come on, buddy. You're done. You're bleeding everywhere. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right. So, you see these ruins and that other island over there? This is the entrance right here. Not very hard to find at all. Now, right, let's pull it up on the map. I'll show you exact coordinates. Or pretty much exact coordinates. Uh, 8.7, 91.6. That'll get you right there in the ballpark. And we'll head on in. See what's going on. Now, this cave's a lot of fun. I absolutely love this cave. Um, I think it's pretty easy, all things considered. But as you can see here, the thyla gets stuck. And I believe he gets stuck going the other direction as well. Oh, this might be bad. Oh, did we get through? No. All right, let's hop off if we can. All right. Anything worth keeping in here? Uh, yeah, that. <laughs> That's worth keeping. Uh, we could take that. Uh, we got some arrows already. Okay. Let's move forward into the cave here. Oh, or move backwards out of it. I'm sorry. All right. Got turned around. Let's go on in. So we're going to come up to a little uh, patch of water. Why am I getting so turned around, man? Here we go. Okay, so there's a minor amount of swimming involved in this. Not a lot, though, so you don't really need any um, scuba or Lazarus chowder. You basically go down into the water, you hang a right, and you'll see right up here, this is where you're headed to. 
Now when we get out, we could be facing a nightmare. I don't know, we'll see. Everything seems to be fine right now, so yeah, we're good. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put my antidote and my healing potions into my hot bar. And then we'll, uh, I think we got these guys already. Nope, not yet. Well, they're aggroed now, so come on down, buddy. All right. Get a bunch of these on it killed off here. Hopefully avoid the initial bout of rabies. Got a few more over here. Yeah, look at all the Onik, man. This is this is a rough cave with all the Onik. All right, so we're just gonna kind of keep fighting these guys. Now I like the uh, thylin here, and like I said, if you're using old school cryopods or got a way to get a thylin into here. That do it. You could raise one outside of the cave, you know, have the baby outside the cave, bring it in and let it grow up inside. Um, that's always an option, but, you know, that's really old school there. But, like, the old school cryopod method is great. Now, you don't have that option, of course, if you're on an official server. But if you got your own server, I always say play how you want to play, right? Can I hit one of these guys from here? No. Anyway, this cave is a deep drop. Look down there. Way down it goes. So if you fall, yeah, it could be a lot of trouble. We're going to go right over. Face these guys heads head on. There we go. Yeah, there's a lot of them here. And we got our rabies already. We'll pop our antidote. Phyla's taking some damage, but nothing out of this world that he can't handle. You know, I got a good solid Thyla. This guy's been bred. Uh, he's got a couple mutations. He's, you know, of course, 100% imprinted. So, yeah, he's in good solid shape. I got more over there. I'm going to see if I can't pull him. Kill as many of these guys as possible while the antidote is working. There we go. Come on, my guys. There we go. Done deal. Okay. There are some drops in this cave, so it's worth looking for uh, drops as you're heading along. Keep your eyes peeled for those. And there are a lot of spots in the cave where, as you're heading down the path, you may have to jump over them. So if you're going on foot, bring some grapple hooks just in case. Bring uh, parachutes in case you miss a jump and you fall. Could be the difference between life and death on your adventure. And anybody who's played Ark for any amount of time understands that if anything can go wrong, you can damn well be sure it will. <laughs> Yeah, I basically want to get rid of all the Onic that I can. I'm going to get further and further down. See, there's another one of those jump spots. Oh, look at this guy coming to greet me. Hey, buddy. Now, we don't have the super high level creatures in here, which is great. You know, we're not looking at level 400, 500 Onic and stuff like that. That, that's where things get a little hairy. <laughs> but we'll just keep making our way down. There's a red drop down there I can see. And fairly close to that. This is about to wear off this. Ugh, come on. Yeah, the antidote's about to wear off, but we're okay. We're good. Thyla picked up a level, which is always nice. And here we are almost at the bottom, so cool. 
just gonna make sure nothing's in the immediate area after us. Hop off. We'll just take all. We'll look at it afterward. Then we'll head down to the bottom. And we're gonna clear everything out of here before we even go for the artifact because I know if we don't, we'll get mobbed as soon as we hop off our guy. That's just the way Ark works. Okay. Oh, scorpion. Yeah, somebody asked if uh, we would ever do a cave run on scorpions or bats, one of the cave creatures. And I think that's kind of an excellent idea, so maybe we'll try it on uh, scorpions. We'll tame up some scorpions and breed some up here next few days and see what we can do. That'd be kind of fun, actually. Yeah, we'll just soften them up a little here. Here they come, boy. Okay. Wow. Wow. That's a lot. Take our second antidote. On a kid hard, man. Fortunately, in case of emergency, I brought a second Thyla. I don't think we'll need him, but you know, these guys, both of my guys are pretty tough a good amount of damage, so yeah, I'm not really too worried. Alright, I would say the Annika the worst thing in here. There's a couple dung beetles up ahead, so if you want to tame dung beetles while you're down here, bring some poop with you. But here's one explorer note just to the left, hit right by that post. A couple dung beetles out here. Oh, spiders! Is that a spider? It looks like a spider. Nope. Dung beetle. And I pissed off all the dung beetles. Alright. Artifact time. But first, one more explorer note while we're down here. I found two in here. I know there's a third somewhere. Haven't found it yet, but it, there's one in here. So there's the other explorer note right outside of this room. That we can't get into. But this is where the artifact is, so let's go ahead and grab it real quick. And bingo. Artifact of the Devourer is ours. Just like that. And now it's just a matter of making your way back up. And that in itself can be a little challenging, but not too tough. If you kind of take it slow and watch your jumps and all that, you'll be fine. You may fall once or twice, but, you know, it happens. So we're just going to kind of work our way around. It's basically a big winding path. I think there's a shortcut at some point. Uh, the thylet can be pretty quick, so when you're navigating some of the uh, sketchier areas, it's better to slow down. Like so, and just make your jump. Bingo. Make a jump here. He does have a good jump, even on a single basic jump, so you don't always have to do a running leap like you might have to do with some other creatures. And kind of work the edge here a little bit. And yeah, we'll keep making our way up, man. But this is, uh, this is a great cave. I like this cave. I think this cave is... It's enough of a challenge and um, that it's not, you know, boring to do. But it's also not too too tough that you can't come in here and single-handedly farm it, especially if you got the right tame for it. Now, if you don't have the uh, oh, there's the fall I was worried about. Okay, if you don't have the um, like a thyla or something like that, a baryonyx would work well. Uh, possibly a really good saber tooth, like I mentioned earlier, might help. Um, you know, there's different tames you can work. You know, try to use in here. I wouldn't use something like a raptor or anything. That's kind of... They're a little too soft for this cave. Um, my dimorphs that we uh, used for the artifact of the pack and the, on the uh, live stream last night that I did. If you want to watch that, watch that. That was kind of fun. Um, they're a possibility. You know, you could actually go in on foot with a little pack of dimorphs. It'll take, you know, the only problem is... Uh, getting them out, you know. 
you'd have to you know, without the cryopods you have to fly out here with them and all that and that can be a little bit of a challenge man these things are a pain ah uh, jeez see that keep getting bumped off all right this time we're making it sorry guys and let's go around this way again yeah this is being far more difficult than it has any right to be I've done the hard part for God's sake let me out That's one thing about Ark, it always had those little like spots where if you jump and bump a wall, you see you, you bounce. And look at that, we're all the way down at the bottom. Alright, well I'm going to make my way back out, I'll catch up with you at the top. <laughs> it's, oh god. Alright, well we made it back up to the top. As you can see, we lost eh, roughly 4k health. Definitely a little bit more because of all the falling and all that. Um, we probably wouldn't have lost that much. And we're back to the water here, and again, it's just really easy to get out of here. I don't think he had anything on him that's worth keeping. Maybe, uh, and maybe the hide. The hide's always good, the chitin's good, and the meat's good. Otherwise, the rest of it is, yeah. So we'll get into the water here. And we went down and right last time, so naturally we're going to go down and go left to get right out. And again, quick swim. If you're nervous underwater... Bring a set of flippers, it'll make it quicker for you. Just remember to take them off when you get out, because otherwise you can't walk. Just like real life. And yeah, we are making our way to the exit here, so life is good. So if you found this video useful or helpful at all, please leave a like on it down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to ring that bell for notifications. Oh, there's my last bag, huh? You know what? Oops, I didn't mean to grab that crap, but I'll grab this, 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 and this. As always, I'm Captain Beefy, and this is the Game Vault. I will see you guys next time. Until then, peace.